Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Chucky's with me today. We're gonna to be talking Chanel. Black Friday, Chanel, was it a ripoff or was it not a ripoff? Let's decide together as I explain to you everything. Let's put Chucky to the side. Anyway, he just came to say hello. Don't get scared. This is not gonna be a video about Chucky. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a video about Chanel. Here we go, straight to it. I went shopping on Black Friday to the Chanel Boutique. This is really the Beauty Boutique, Chanel Beauty Boutique. Let's make it very clear. It's very, very heavy. Um, let's unbox it together as I tell you the story. I think this is the only case. ASMR, okay. Been there, done that, right? You could check out my ASMR videos on my channel, by the way. Uh, let's open this little uh, creature first. Oh, by the way. Before we get to it, I know we're all eager to get to see everything here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but also push the notifications button to be notified whenever I upload a new video because YouTube is kind of really lazy when it comes to that. They don't let you know. I have subscribers writing me, Jacob, why haven't you uploaded new videos? I was like, I just did one day ago and you didn't get the notification. So please, if you like my channel, subscribe, push the notifications button. Subscribe because only about 8% of y'all's watching me are also subscribed. And if we put that number up to 20%, we could reach over 100,000 subscribers, like literally overnight, if you just click the subscribe button. So please do that because that will help the channel grow. It'll garner more views and then we could do more stuff and create more content. But also another new thing is the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. And you could become a member of my channel, get access to special perks like videos ahead of time before others get access to them. Some videos are ad free. Some videos are only exclusive to members. There will be reruns of live streams, but also you get to use exclusive for members emojis that uh, the house of the Fashion Bunker has designed for y'all and you also get the badges. The longer you stay subscribed and the fuller this perfume bottle badge fills up, basically, that's the idea. And of course, on Patreon, we're still continuing with the wonderful, wonderful continuation of the videos and special limited edition stuff. <laughs> limited edition stuff? Yeah, limited edition videos because they're limited to Patreon over there as well. So thank you to my patrons and thank you to the members because a lot of you have uh, become members since I announced it just a week ago. So thank you so much. Let's get to this now. Actually, first this. So this was uh, the freebie. And it was so funny uh, because um, my sales associate, my lovely sales associate, thank you so much. We were talking a lot together. So this is gold. Looks black, but it's actually gold. It depends how you reflect the light. And as uh, she was wrapping up, <laughs> so she's like, Jacob, did you get the... Oh, but this is like a couple of weeks ago already or a month or so ago old. The... The, the glittery pouch? I was like, what glittery pouch? No, I didn't. This one. Now, you know, I think this is the one that everybody went crazy for on the Chanel Beauty website. Like, if you order, it was something, they would send you this off. And a lot of people were going nuts for it. And then they would add chains here to the sides and use it as an actual crossbody bag. But, I mean, it does, sell sh it does say Chanel Beauty on the side. Golden plastic zipper. It's like a neoprene -y texture on the inside. Um, I think there were two different colorways. I just said if you have something black that's base black with gold, I would prefer that. Maybe there, there was a red one as well. I don't know. But I, I wanted the black one. So there's that little beauty case pouch. Glittery. Maybe it's not so glittery. It's more like one of those sponges to rub pans or something when you're washing them in the sink. It's a very dry acrylic feeling to the touch. It's not the best thing, tactile speaking. It does look cute though, but yeah. Um, and then this, now this, is, they were so cute. I said to them, hey, you know, they know I'm not a big Christmas person, but I was like, but you know what? When Chanel comes with their Christmas boxes and packagings, I really, um, I, I go all out on whatever it is, you know. So my Black Friday, and this is, we're gonna get to the point of why is it a ripoff? Is it a ripoff? 
It is partially, but we'll get to it in a second. So this is, they were so sweet. So they were like, yeah, well, the box on the inside is the classic gift box by Chanel, the white and black one, but this slide cover is what's new. And they said, you can pick a color. I was like, well, there's the black with gold, which you can see it has all that. The whole idea is um, to recreate the Moon commercial, which we've seen with Marion Cotillard and that weird dude with her. It's totally black on the back, in the back. The ribbon has that gorgeous, gorgeous um, tweed pattern and texture to it. This is not printed. This is actually woven that way. Also exists in thicker versions and thinner versions. This is the kind of medium version. There's even a thinner one and then there's a really thick one. And then you get to choose the outer packaging, which I had difficulties choosing, but I went for the black in the end. <laughs> oh, look at the moon. Depending on how we illuminate it, there you can see the whole kind of moon over there. And then here, Chanel gifts wrapped up. Oh, they're upside down. Should be like this, maybe. Like that. And the moon. So, I'm seeing here already, they were so sweet there. <laughs> they knew I liked all of them. So they gave me both <laughs> covers. Because I collect this stuff. What are you going to do? I mean, you can unfold them. You know, you open them up. And then um, you slide them on top of your box. But these are the alternatives given to us. gold and white. So gold background, white double C, white background, gold double C. And this one is also sprinkled with the gold speckles, which you can see very delicately there. And this one has the white, but this is more like snowflakes in, in a golden space. I love this one also, but the black one is kind of the most I don't know, elegant. You could say they also gave me a box because this one is empty, you guys. I just want all the alternative versions. Oh, desiccant, desiccant central. You know, I love my desiccants to keep stuff dry from humidity. These are saviors. And um, you can put a little box in here, perfume box. For the smaller perfumes, they actually put them in here as a gift wrapping. It's beautiful kind of slightly mattified, semi-mattified, semi-glossy golden bottom, and then you have the mattified black top with gold, um, the moon, the surface of the moon, and it's a mattified black on the inside. So it's just a box, just for my collector heart. All right, the bag is now empty. Let's get to this. This seems really heavy. I mean... Let's slide it open, or let's slide it off. I'm a bit scared of kind of tipping it always up and down. I don't know, it feels really, it feels much heavier than what I actually purchased, so I have a sneaky suspicion there's something more in here. If I get to open it, you guys. Um, I might need Chucky to help me. Okay. So that's the box. Oh boy, okay, it's all, oh, there's a lot in here. Which makes me very happy, but also terrified because I don't want to, okay, spill anything. We got the white Chanel tissue paper and the wax, a resembling wax sticker. Of course, it's not wax, it's not a wax, um, seal. It is a Chanel sticker that resembles wax, which we're going to delicately mm -hmm. um, oh, oh my god, you guys! Ooh, okay, oh. okay, there's a lot in here. Oh, it's all falling off. Wait, careful. Okay, so I'm going to basically take all these bits out one by one, and as I'm taking them out, we're going to do a close-up 
Wow, okay. So let me tell you what I bought. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, now you know. By now, you know. Le Lion de Chanel. There it is, finally. It's been released. Le Lion de Chanel, Eau de Parfum. I got the 75 mil. I didn't want the 200 mil. And it's not just a money issue. And we're going to get to the ripoff in just a second because it is also a money issue. But also because this, I've been testing this one. I've had the sample since a couple of days. It's not a perfume I'm going to drain and use up immediately. It's going to take me years to finish this bottle. I'm telling you. It, it will. Um, 75 mil is totally fine for me. It's going to last me years. I, I, because I will do an in-depth review and stay tuned for that. But if you wish, you can already check out my first impressions video. I'll put the link up here above and also in the description box down below so you could check my first impressions of Le Lyon uh, de Chanel. Uh, it does warrant a 75 mil purchase, not a 200 mil purchase. Now, the ripoff part. I get to the cash register and the lady rings me up and it's more expensive than the other Les Exclusives fragrances. Yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, did they go up in price? And the lady at the cash register said, no, actually not. I was like, well, can you please ring up the 200 mil bottle? Because if that's still the same price, then I might just get that one just because then at this point, it, like, what the hell? It like did. <laughs> people are barely purchasing less exclusives and now you're upping the price and then she went to ask the store manager and then the store manager says oh yeah guess what <laughs> this is a special pre-release but it already has the price of next year because officially this perfume will be launched in January 2021 and that's when Chanel is planning a markup for the Liz exclusives range but in general across the board Oh, what a surprise. Chanel always marking up their prices. And as exclusives didn't receive a markup since 2016 for their Eau de Parfums, not for their Pure Perfumes. The Pure Perfumes have received a huge markup last year. Well, at the beginning of this year. Uh, no, last year. Last year. Already in 2019, right after Karl Lagerfeld died. So it's around uh, $20, uh, like 10 euro or, 20, or, or around $20 more expense, depending on the tax you got to pay as well. Uh, in some countries you got to pay tax at the cash register. Tax isn't always included. So between 10 to $20 markup, the same markup is valid also on the 200 milliliter bottle, except of course, ratio wise, the markup is higher on the 75 mil because it's the same amount. So it, it was around I mean, an average would be like $15, $15 markup for this one, $15 markup for the 200 mil. So they're already selling now Le Lion de Chanel with the prices of 2021, because guess what, you guys, in 2021, the entire Les Exclusives Eau de Parfum range will go up in price. You're welcome. So this is the ripoff. I am literally the only person on this planet that on Black Friday, instead of receiving a sale, <laughs> reduced price, actually paid more than retail price, than what the regular retail price, price would be. That's hence the ripoff. Hence the frickin' ripoff. Like Chanel asking for more money for this product within the Les Exclusives range than for any other of their Les Exclusives Eau de Parfums. Okay, whatever. Before we open this, let's see what the goodies are. And I, I was like, I, I had to laugh. I was like, okay, this is a bad joke. Black Friday. This is what you do. This is what Chanel does on Black Friday. Raises the prices. They released this as a special thing for Black Friday. But then they sold it at a higher price. Only Chanel. Literally. Only Chanel sees Black Friday as an opportunity to squish out a coin or two more from the consumers. I find that very vulgar. That is not luxury, okay? Either you come out with Le Lion de Chanel and you say, this is special, we use so much labdanum in here, this is going to cost $500. Okay, fine, people would be upset, but then you're like saying at least like, this is a noble thing, ingredients are super high. 
the markup for this one alone is like 500 bucks instead of, you know, 175 or 200. That would have been even more, that would make more sense than upping the price 15 bucks. Upping the price 15 bucks for a luxury brand, it, it's, it's desperate. It looks desperate. It reeks of desperate. So, but I wanted my Lillion de Chanel, so I got it. I paid that uh, markup. This is gorgeous. This is a chain made out of metal, and it's really heavy. I mean, it has a little ribbony thing in the back, but in the front, we have the surface of the moon. I mean, I guess you could hang this up on your Christmas tree, but this is really heavy. You can make a necklace out of it. It's a very heavy metal. It has the number five bottle. Uh, etched in it and you have the surface of the moon. I think this is really beautiful and I love this sh this typical Chanel champagne gold. So thank you so much for that. So, I mean, all of these goodies all the already, you know, they they make they make me forgive them for, for the markup. Forgive. Oh, this is super cute. Um it's a clover leaf but it's not a four leaf clover leaf. It has only three. Lift your beauty. So I guess you gotta add the fourth little uh, leaf yourself. It has a little tiny, tiny, tiny Chanel logo in the center of the clover leaf. And this is a bracelet. Um, it's metal. Now you don't really see the color here, but the color is not silver. It is a very, very pale, pale lilac color like a rosy lilac silver. So I guess, uh, well, it's for the Le Lift cream. So you know Le Lift has usually that kind of pinky tone in the font used for it. So this is really, really cute. Thank you for that, Chanel. And this is adorable. Oh, wow, it also has different colorways. This is so adorable. Okay, so remember I was in my first impressions, oh, I still have the bag, the first impressions video, um, for Lillian de Chanel, I took it out of this bag, and this camellia, this tweed camellia, which is the camellia that Chanel gifts you as a sticker for the holiday season, now for Christmas, um, this is a sticker, and then in a smaller version, you have, and I said, when I showcased this one, I said, wow, this is perfect to kind of DIY it into a brooch. Well, guess what? It's a clutch pin now. They actually do have them. See that? That's, that's a clutch pin. So this beautiful camellia here is turned into a clutch pin. Now it's actually not smaller, it's the same size. That's gorgeous, thank you for that Chanel. Now because I mean, I get it, I mean it's probably lower quality than their handmade camellias that you buy in the fashion boutiques for like 800 bucks. This one is a freebie, but it's a Chanel camellia nevertheless, so, and it's given to some people for free not for sale. So, uh, it's a great, I think this is a great piece. And yes, I will be wearing it for the holiday season. Okay, now we get to Solution Biphase Deuce Gentle Biphase Eye Makeup Remover. I got a little sample, 10 mil sample. So, 10 mil sample usually comes in a little bottle. I can't open it. Then they gave me a volume and length mascara 3D printed brush in 10 Noir. I might be using this in a video soon, maybe. Testing out mascara. Then I got uh, the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum Intense Replenishing Hydration. Now this one has been suggested to me several times. I've never purchased it. But maybe, maybe I should. <laughs> I'm going to test this out. <clears throat> Gardenia, four milliliter. They call these the luxury samples. The little splash bottles. There you go, the Gardenia four milliliter splash bottle of the Eau de Parfum. Batch code 4401. And here is the beauty. There it is. Le Lion de Chanel. They have made their 4 mil 
Eau de Parfum bottle. It's batch code 4901. And this is the back, that's the batch code there. And this is, this is, <laughs> this shocked me the most. This is really, this is the gift. I got the 35 mil mist, hair mist, which they actually sell. This is the first time that Chanel really like gifts me a product. After being a customer for so many years, like to officially get one of their newly launched, also overpriced products, because I mentioned this in another video of mine, their hair mist, when it was packaged in that kind of Eau Premier bottle, the old school Eau Premier bottle, um, it was 40 mil. Now they reduced it to 35 mil. Before the price was around 40 bucks, now it's over 50. So they upped the price, reduced the quantity, changed the bottle. Now the bottle resembles the... Um, Eau de Parfum Chanel number no. 5 glass bottle in 35 mil, except the hair mist is frosted. Now, I love the Chanel number no. 5 hair mist. In fact, if you remember many, many years ago when I reviewed this, you could check out that video on my channel as well. I mentioned that for who is on a budget but loves Chanel number no. 5, the Eau de Toilette, this in the old version, I haven't tested the new one yet, smells exactly like, well, slightly lighter because there's a bit more alcohol perhaps in it and water, but it smells just like the Eau de Toilette. So if somebody's on a budget, you could actually use the hair mist as an Eau de Toilette because the price was really good. Now that they've upped the price, yeah, it's actually better to just buy a smaller refillable twist and spray version of Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Toilette than getting this. So that price um, difference is now gone and the, you know, um, favoring the hair mist to do the toilet is not possible anymore because mm, there's no real monetary advantage in getting the hair, hair mist anymore. However, it is a new design. It is one of their releases that are meant for the upcoming 100th birthday of Chanel Number no. 5. So they are revamping their packaging, their bottles, um, and their bath range as well for the occasion of the 100th birthday of Chanel number no. 5. So thank you so much for this because I actually do collect these things and um, maybe some people don't care for hair mists. I also love the Chanel Allure hair mist. These are the two that I use actually, Allure hair mist and Chanel number no. 5 hair mist. So thank you so much for this. This is really, really, really special. So this shows me real appreciation from the end of, uh, from the side of my sales associates. I'm going to open this little box because I think Technically, you can see how it works. Yeah, I think the hair mist fits in here. Yeah. So this is basically, if you buy a smaller box like this or the Pure Perfume, you know, it fits in here. You put the lid on top. When you take the lid off, you pull this little thing up and then you take the bottle out of the box. So that's basically the idea. For bigger bottles, it works better. This was kind of a relatively small bottle. It it would still wobble around in this box. Okay, finally we're getting to Le Lyon. I'm going to open it in this video and then we're going to review it in another video. And um, batch code. I actually only see it when it's facing the light because it's black on black. Something with 550... Oh, I, I can't see. 5001 perhaps? Yeah, 5001 is the batch code. So this was produced while we were in lockdown. And I'm going to open it from the bottom. Mm, yeah, and it's going to be... Yeah, so I'm telling you guys, it's an intense fragrance. You don't need the 200 mil unless you really, really think that you're going to be using this every day, several times a day. If this is going to become your signature fragrance and you think you're not going to use anything else, then it's worth it. The ratio milliliter per... Oh my god, okay, this is a mess. Okay, so this is damaged. Great. <laughs> um, so you can see the glue here. The bottom part, oh wow, this is a total mess. Yeah, you know why this is a mess, because this was produced half a year ago, and God knows where they stored it. So, 
I don't want to damage the sticker, but I think, okay, no, sticker didn't. Okay, so Lelion de Chanel is here, and um, in the 75 mil bottle, quite yellow. I mean, I have a lot of spotlights here, guys, so they bleach out saturation of colors. That's why I look like a vampire, too. My skin is actually not this pale, but it does result this pale, thanks to makeup and lights. So this liquid is a bit more yellow than it appears on camera. Nevertheless, it's not that yellow, could be more intense, but let me just get, you see, this bit here, out. <laughs> Great, we get to see the anatomy of the inside of the Chanel box. So, that's, um, that in that circle over there is where the stopper fits in, and this is the bottom. <laughs> it looks so crappy, doesn't it? But it's actually, you know, they made the, you can see that this is handmade. It's hand cut, glued, folded together, and it's supposed to go, let me just add the, I guess, yeah, this one goes here. So this is how it's supposed to look when you click it in together. And then the bottle goes in here. Or, well, actually, with the Chanel logo in the front, maybe. Like that. The 200 mil packaging has a sponge here on the inside. The 75 mil does not have that extra protection. And I'm going to have to glue this. I'm going to have to set the glue. I'm going to have to glue it, press it in, and really lock it in place so that it doesn't pop out every time I store the bottle, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, it's not damaged, it's okay, the glue just didn't hold well. And to end the video, we're gonna come to the perfume itself, I'm gonna spray it to honor the, oh, wow, okay, this is a labdanum bomb, you guys, bomb. I, mean, I have all these white papers and everything, I can't spray. I'm gonna have to spray it off camera, give me just a second. Okay, you can see, can you see? No, I'm too pale, it's right there. It's, we don't say grandma perfumes, old smelling perfumes, but this one is as old school as it gets. This one is, mm, a lion it roars so if you're gonna say roaring something you're gonna say roaring 20s but this is more roaring early 30s that's what it's rem what it reminds us of uh, what it reminds us of oh my god diction but oh more more of the time travel uh, in the actual review of Le Lion de Chanel so let's try to close it it's gonna be a mess yeah, I'm going to have to glue this uh, fella up. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you have, please do thumb it up. Let me know what you thought about this crazy amount of Black Friday goodies at the end of the day that I got. Um, comment down below your thoughts. And if you do have Le Lion de Chanel, what are your thoughts on it? As I said, the actual review is coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for the full review of Le Lion de Chanel. Until then, thank you to my patrons, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel, and thank you also to the newly joined members of my channel. I repeat, you can join my channel and become a member. Just click on the Join button, which is next to the subscription button. <clears throat> and also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together, on Patreon, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together, and also to other Instagram profiles that I cherish, treasure, and nourish. One is called Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together about Chanel's life, all of her creations during her lifetime, up until January 1971. And the other profile is called Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together where I showcase my entire collection. Chanel the brand of today and yesteryear. So more kind of like the modern, the Chanel the brand. And Coco Chanel Privé is more Chanel the woman. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. See you all soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.